In this example, we're going to consider what happens when we change the material. So when we had the material set at A, we saw that the change in the inner radius was 0.054 millimeters and the change in the outer radius was 0.9 millimeters. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move this back down to 50 degrees Celsius and I'm going to change this to material B. And we notice that this material is, is, is going to be different, but it has the same inner radius and the same outer radius. So it's identical in terms of its size to start with. And as I increase the temperature, I notice that this material also expands, but it expands differently because it is at, uh, it's made of a different material. And so when the change in temperature is 150 degrees Celsius, going from 50 to 200, in this case, the inner radius has changed by 0 0.043, and the outer radius has changed by 0 0.071. We can repeat this for material C, D, and E. And if I go ahead and I just hit material C, it automatically tells me how the material changed. So in all of these examples, they're starting with the same radius, inner radius and outer radius, same initial temperature and change in temperature of 150. So in this case, when we have material C, the change in the inner radius is 0 0.038 millimeters and the change in the radius of the outer, the outer radius is 0 0.064. If I look at material D, I see that the inner radius changes by 0 0.065, the outer radius changes by 0 0.109. And then finally, when I look at the last material, I see that again, it also changes differently. The inner radius is only 0 0.025, and the outer radius is 0 0.041. So we could compare all of these different materials and we could see which what these materials are made of based on their coefficient of linear expansion. So the larger the coefficient of linear expansion, the more the object is going to expand or contract when it is heated. So if I just skip through these really quickly, I can see which one has the greatest um, increase in its length. So I'm just going to look at B here. And if I go to A, I have 25.09. B is 25.07. Looking at this, C is 25.06. D is 25.109. That's the biggest one so far. And then 25.041. So if I look at D, D has to be made of material that has the largest coefficient of expansion of all of the materials that I'm considering. And then if I just work my way backwards and I consider, you know, what's the next one that expanded not as much as this material, but expanded um, the second greatest amount, um, then that would be the item that had the next largest coefficient of expansion and so on.